So, you're the rookie. My name is Frank, but you can address me with my full title as <clears throat> Acclaimed Inferno Designer of the Forgotten Realms of Lower Hell. I earned that title. Now, <clears throat> come. To begin, you'll need to know how to navigate your circle of hell. You can move the camera around freely and increase speed. Alternatively, you can see which one suits you best. By the way, you don't have to commit to using one method. Use them as you please. Okay, enough talking. We need iron, coal, and dirt. Give the ores to dig, and gather the necessary resources so we can move. To start, choose the dig action, and decide. Bear in mind that most of the sinners are unqualified blockheads. They'll only complete tasks in places they can- You can always undo your orders, though. Want certain tasks to be prioritized over the others? The numbers you see mark each task's current priority. Increase or decrease it with the corresponding buttons, the higher the priority. Now, since you have the basic know-how, get to work. gathered the resources. Well then, you should- In hell, we care about one thing in particular. Suffering. To generate it, you're going to need torture devices. For starters, let's build a- Select it by going to the build menu at the bottom of the screen and choosing the tortures category. Notice that each structure requires space, so you could clear out some rubble before building, but if you don't, your sinners will take care of freeing up room for building. So don't worry your pretty little hell manager head. It would be good to tell you how torturing works. The structure name is at the very top of the card. Below it, a level indicating how many times you can upgrade the building. You can check the upgrade cost by hovering over the upgrade button. An upgrade can improve several things. It can shorten the work cycle, increase the amount of resources provided by the building, or change its effect on the sinners. If it's a torture device, the number of traits compatible with that machine may also increase. 
Further below, you will find information about the structure's type and the time it needs to complete a cycle. What's a cycle, I hear you ask? Good question, rookie. In simple terms, you'll surely understand. A cycle is the time. The right-hand side of the card shows crucial information for each building. For torture devices, these are traits which are compatible with this device. As you can see, the Iron Maiden uses the blood trait. That means if you assign a sinner with that trait to it, you'll be able to squeeze additional suffering. Look to the bottom left of the card now. That's the place where you assign sinners to structures. The number of slots determines how many sinners can be assigned. Now, let us first open the population screen. Either move your cursor to the icon and confirm your... Lots of stuff here, right? This, in general, corresponds to the information on the individual sinner cards, accessed by selecting the sinners. From the left, dossier picture, condition, needs level, skills, status effects, schedule tasks, special trait, and their deadly sin. Find someone who has the blood trait and select them to center the camera on them, then close the population menu. Now drag and drop that sinner onto the Iron Maiden to start the torture! Hurry! Hurry! Ugh. I talk so much I got thirsty. Which reminds me, your sinners are probably thirsty too. Do we care? Uh, not really, but we kind of need to pretend we do. Better take care of those bastards before they perish and end up in limbo. You see, we expand hell and gather suffering using sinners, and that can take its toll. Sometimes to the point of them perishing from exhaustion. In general, we shouldn't let that happen. After all, a sinner in limbo is of no use to us, so we feed them, let them drink, and sleep. If we didn't do that, those worms would get used to the constant torturing, and we wouldn't be able to gather as much suffering. But I digress. Open the food category under the build action. Here's the rundown. On the left, you can select the product you want to manufacture. The lower a product is on the list, the more advanced it is, and the more requirements you have to meet in order to generate it. Above the structure panel, there are descriptions that will help you distinguish the types of buildings. Now for the structures. Generally speaking, to generate a resource, you need one building of each type. Production, process, and provide. Let's use Smelly Goop as an example. Manufacturing a meal even as basic as this requires three buildings. A flesh farm to produce, a cauldron manned by a sinner to process, and a trough, which is used to provide the finished product. But the hell circle we're in is not a basic one, so basic food will not suffice. Instead, we're going to produce some simple meals. Two of the required buildings are already in place. That leaves the mushroom farm. Build it, and be quick about it. Alright, that's done, but at this base we'll have to wait eons before the field kitchen cycle completes. Upgrade the mushroom farm so the process speeds up. Did you forget how that's done? Oh well, just- Now, add a center to the field kitchen so the production can start. Open the structure card and pre- It's best to handpick a sinner who possesses the best cooking skills. Take your time. By carrying out a task over and over, sinners will become better at them and their skill level will increase. It looks like I'm a great teacher, because so far, 
everything is going smoothly. Not that I was expecting otherwise. You know how production processing providing works. We just talked about satisfying hunger. Thirst works in the same way. For fatigue, you need to build structures available in the rest category, like a paper box or a bed. And to let sinners evacuate, you're going to need to build simple latrines. A fun fact, a simple latrine, the- That's why- Any questions? Heh, <laughs> just kidding. I wouldn't answer even if you had any. Now, <clears throat> let's get to the more intermediate. Most of the things are already in place, but I didn't have time to set up beds. I don't in- Wait, what the- Ah, never mind. Right, I haven't explained research yet. A, a tiny oversight. Anyway, at first you have low-level authorization, so no- Now, you need two buildings from the special category. A crystal refinery and the research stones. The former lets you collect green crystals, which, in turn, you're going to use to pay for new technologies using the latter. To build both, you're going to need a new resource. The essence gathered from sacrifice. Remember me saying you need to take care of the sinners? Well, our magnificent master does- But! To obtain essence from a sinner, you can- If one's not enough, finish off some more. Go on now, gather us some essence. This never gets old. Now build both buildings, a crystal refinery and the research stones. Open the build menu and choose special structures to find them. Now that you have the buildings, start digging up some green crystals.
Finished. Great. Open the technology panel by clicking the research stones or use the shortcut. Select bed to be researched and wait for it to complete. Just remember that waiting doesn't mean slacking off. Find something useful to do in the meantime. Let's quickly go through the rest of the building category. Decorations are items which emit auras. An aura from light sources will make your sinners work faster, but decreases the amount of suffering produced in torture devices. Buildings marked simply as decorations emit auras that increase the suffering from torture devices. To check an aura's area of effect, use the overlay buttons located in the bottom left corner of the screen. This is where we end our intermediate level training. Take some time. It's time for the last part of the training. There's not much left, but now we are going to start our last part of training by explaining legends. Start by building the Wall of Legends from the Special category. Good! Now, whenever a new sinner would appear in your circle, you have a chance to receive a legend instead. Legends, to put it simply, are the worst of the worst. They're sinners. We can study their influence, also known as an aura, once someone appears. But let we're going to summon a lesser devil. Use an artifact, and then we'll finally move on to the part where I can stop talking and you can stop messing up my daily schedule. I like that last part in particular. To summon a devil, you need a summoning portal. Build it, and we can get this over with. Now, open the Summoning Portals card. Here you can choose the Summon Devils category. Each has their specialization and can help with different things, such as making the sinners move faster, for example. Others can be hired to help you with digging, production, gathering additional... To acquire one's help, you're going to need Essence. Gather the required amount and use it to hire a lesser devil. There we go, your first legend, Billy the Kid. He emits an oracle. Now thanks to the improvements like that, you can easily finish your tasks before. Now just remember to check your legend's aura and to use it to its fullest potential. You can check the area of a Moving on, in hell you'll come across artifacts. For the most part, they collect dust while growing. Using their power might- Let's try an artifact out. First, upgrade your crystal refinery so you can collect blue crystals. After that's done, build the vault.
Okay, listen carefully now. Artifacts can only be extracted at- They will extract it and it will- Give it a try. Open the vault's card to see the obtained. Below the artifact, you can choose how many crystals you want to use to harness this. Try it out now. Listen, remember the sinner you sacrificed a while ago? Oh, we can certainly do that. You just need a limbo gong. Construct a limbo gong and buy back the sinner you lost. How about we try one of these special buildings out? The Hellployment Center. <laughs> Build it, and when you do, we'll see what it does. Have you ever looked at your sinners and imagined how productive they- Well, now you can! 
Every sinner now has an active switch under each of their skills. By using it, you can make the sinners prioritize certain tasks over others. For example, they can concentrate on building instead of running away to dig up dirt. It most certainly will make... Well, that's it. I've done my best to teach you everything, but let's just say you tried your best too. Anyway, you now have the knowledge. No, I don't know who your direct supervisor will be, and frankly, I don't care. Now, see yourself out. Rookie, you're still here? I'm sorry, I don't have time to watch you suffer. But that doesn't concern a peon like you. Hello, little worm. Have you seen- Yes. Do I need to send an imp with an engraved invitation? Get your tail to that meeting. Lucifer is waiting. Of course. All right, I'm up. But while I'm gone, get those lights fixed. It's messing up the sinners and driving me crazy. When I get back here- No worries, master. It happens. Just turn it off and on again. I mean, lose a toy to make up for it. Maybe build them something nice. That should make them feel a little better. If you care about that kind of thing. Master, I'm afraid the torches aren't the problem. It's gotten even worse. By the fiery balls of Asmodeus, look who's back! Mr. Frank! I sneak out of them. Get to work, Slay. We need more sinners and here's my accent. The don't usually to do high level buildings, you have to do research. But with middle what needs built, and I'll go get help for the light.
my lord, I'm back with- Morning, Sunshine. So what- You'll have to search for the damn whatchamacallit. Well, what the heck is this artifact here? And by the way, dig it up and put at least two tor- And if not? Then we'll come back with a crew- well, Of course. Let's dig this doodad out and get it over with.